Capricorn, hi and welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tina. So today I'm doing your upcoming weekly tarot reading. This will be for roughly November 2nd to November 8th. As always, if you happen to come before the 2nd or after the 8th, the important thing is that these readings resonate. And if they do, then trust that they are for you. All right, that being said, let me go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. I'll lay down one card each at first, just to get an idea of the general energy happening for you this week. And then I will go in and clarify each of those energies by pulling two additional cards. All right, let's give these a few more shuffles and see what the tarot has to say. For the Capricorn Collective, November 2nd to the 8th. Two more, and we'll dive right into it. Last one. We're going to stop here. All right, the situation for you this week. Challenging you. All right, where's your mind at? What are you focused on? All right, your approach when it comes to this. Any external influences or people that may be affecting you? And then the near future outcome, what is coming towards you? Okay, wow. Um, I just feel like there's a big decision here. There's like a, a, it just feels like a test of faith. There's definitely something in your environment that's just, I don't know, it's feeling like such a crossroads here, not seeing a clear solution out. You feel like something might be interfering with the progress. Um, oof, let's go ahead. All right, at the bottom we do have the Nine of Wands. So I just feel like you're standing strong. There's a test right now that I feel like life's, there's a, it just feels like a challenging week, but you're standing strong. You're having the courage and you're facing it, but you are tired, definitely. Temperance is the situation this week. This is a card about balance. It's a card about patience. It is a card about needing to blend things together in the right amounts. It's about taking a middle path here, taking a moderate approach, no extremes. That's what this card is about. In the challenge position, we do have the Two of Swords here. I mean, this feels like a crossroads. I feel like there's a big decision here. Do you walk the old path? Do you walk the new path? I mean, that's that's just what it feels like to me. Because on your mind, what you, what you are focused on, we got judgment here. This is a big decision. It's one that's been knocking at your door here. It's about rising from the ashes. But there's a judgment call here, one that will change the course of things. It puts you on a whole new path. In your approach, we do have the Five of Pentacles here. Even though it is a card about feeling left out, out in the cold, like you don't have support, it does speak of sometimes making plans behind the scenes, and you are a Capricorn. So for some reason, I do feel that. Um, all right, in your environment, I just feel like that's where the Two of Swords is connected. We have the Eight of Swords here. There's something in the environment that's just not feeling good. It's feeling a little trapped by your circumstances, feeling like, stuck not seeing a clear path or a clear solution out and then coming towards you we do have the hermit it can be a virgo definitely but i honestly feel like this is you going within right now doing some soul searching because you're feeling a little stuck you know the path ahead is not clear and there's like some faith that's needed with the two of swords there's a moon above so i always remind people that it, it's just there to indicate that there is more to be seen in the situation <laughs> i I feel like a hypocrite if I say that because like there's always more to be seen like let's be honest but this one is really saying like especially in this situation like you may not even see what's right in front of you with that two of swords right um so really interesting let's go ahead and clarify temperance as a situation this is really a card about taking a moderate approach balancing I mean balance it's a balanced energy absolutely but it's a card about alchemy which is really about mixing different things to create something brand new here not like the nothing like the two things you're mixing something uniquely brand new um all right but let's go ahead and clarify temperance for the situation this week but yeah i just feel like there's a huge decision or it feels like a really heavy decision all right clarify temp all right i'm going to take it we get the hangman the eight of cups is at the bottom and the high priestess <sighs> three major arcanas i mean i just feel like this week, it's a week of non-action. While you have a big decision right now, I see you surrendering a little bit, letting go of control a little bit. The High Priestess is here, so I, I definitely feel like you're using your intuition this week, Capricorn. I think you're getting insights that maybe you hadn't had before. You're just processing them, but I feel like there is, you're gaining enlightenment right now. You're starting to look at the same situation from a different perspective. Maybe seeing things you hadn't seen before with the hangman, um, but it is about gaining enlightenment. 
it's needing patience, but I feel like you're gaining enlightenment. You're needing to surrender to something. You need to take a moderate approach, but it's your intuition that will guide you. It is your intuition. And I think, and I can see that you're kind of surrendering and letting go of control this week. Maybe you've tried so many times to do something and it just hasn't yielded the results that you've wanted. And then that's when you're just like, well, I don't know what else to do. So just, you know, it's kind of like, fuck it. It's that kind of energy. Um, but it, there's no action right now. This is taking a step back. <sighs> Just take a step forward. Trying to figure out what to do next is definitely the feeling because you know that Two of Swords, it's got me feeling stuck doing the reading. Let's clarify the Two of Swords in the challenge position for Capricorn this week. Oh my God, I wanna take it, I don't know why. The Six of Cups and the Ace of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the star. Woo, woo, woo. It's healing. It's a wish come true. It's like things are turning in your favor. All right, there's something from your past. There's something that's got you feeling stuck about moving forward. And it feels like it's connected to your past. It can be a person. It can be like, you'll know what I mean. It can be behaviors from the past, ways of being. It doesn't matter. <sighs> Maybe it's letting go of the past. Yeah, it feels like letting go of the past. You know, it's this crossroads is connected to the past. It's, it's got something to do with letting something go from the past that's got like some kind of hold. Ah, uh, because it's, you know, the Six of Cups is such soulmate energy. Do you want to go back to the past? Is there a passionate new reboot that you're trying to reignite in the past here? Something from the past here that's got you at a crossroads feeling stuck. I think some of you are missing the past and there's something that you want to bring back to life here with that Ace of Wands and feeling stuck, how do you do it? Or there's something from the past that you have to let go of for your own personal reboot. Oof, big judgment here. That's so interesting. I don't know if you want to like, again, breathe life into something from the past or if there's, or if the choice is between something in the past and you're needing a, and you got to let it go it's like opportunity cost, right? Like in order to have one, you have to let go of the other. We can't have it all. We can't walk two paths. So we have to choose. What I'll say is with the Two of Swords, like for me, this card always like, even though you feel like you're stuck and you feel like you're challenged, I think there's always a level of fear that's doing that to us. Because with the Two of Swords, for me, we always know exactly what path we should be walking already. You already know which one you should be doing. And, and judgment is here. It's on your mind. You're focused. You've got judgment. That's exactly where your mind is focused, is on this choice. It's on this decision. This one that's going to change things. You know that. That's why it's like, I don't know what to do because it's really going to change the course of things. Let's go ahead and clarify judgment for your mind. What's judgment about? The Eight of Swords did want to come out, um, but let's keep shuffling. All right. The Ten of Cups. The Five of Wands is at the bottom. You're just feeling complete. Oh my God, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there is soulmate energy all over this. This definitely could be about family. We got a judgment here with the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Man, I feel like you're just trying to decide. <clears throat> Can we have it all? Or did we already reach our peak is what it feels like. Did I already get the most I can get from this situation? Or... Is there still hope? Can we still have it all? I feel a lot of like past memories here. There's a lot of could have, would have, should have had it all. I don't know. It's so interesting. I just feel like there's this duality of like, did we get everything we could have got from the situation? Is it over? Is that the best it was going to be ever? Or is there a real chance here to breathe life back into this? Can we still have it all? You know, take what resonates. All right, your approach here, we do have the Five of Pentacles. So let's go ahead and clarify the Five of Pentacles in your approach. Um, tell us more about the Five. Are you just going at it alone? Like, I don't need anybody because I don't have anybody. I don't know. Five of Pentacles always indicates change in numerology. So let's go ahead and clarify this Five of Pentacles in your approach for Capricorn this week. What's this Five of Pentacles? Hmm. All right, two more. Last one, we're gonna stop here. Strength is at the bottom. We got the Emperor and we got the Nine of Wands. I think you're still making plans behind the scenes. I was feeling that beforehand too. 
you've got strategy, but you are a wounded warrior. That energy, I think, already came out. It's just, this is you, like, standing tall. Life is testing you. This is a test, it definitely feels like. Um, and you do have an important decision to make. But right now, whatever challenge you're facing, you are being brave. You definitely have the courage and you're standing strong and tall and you've got the fight in you if need be. But it's the energy of wanting to throw in the towel because something's got you also feeling left out. It's got you feeling cold, not supported, like you don't have anybody, maybe not seen. Um, and so that's where that energy comes where you might want to throw in the towel, but you don't. It's just you may play with that idea sometimes, it feels like. Um, definitely in your approach, you're like, you know, I feel like sometimes you're like, ah, it's not even worth it. I'm so tired. I tried so much. But not at all. <clears throat> you're ready to conquer this and you're ready to fight. You're tired. You've already been through the ringer, definitely. But you still got fight in you, Capricorn, and you are ready to conquer this and you got the emperor energy. It's like dressed for battle. Ready to fight for what you believe in, for what's important to you here. You're ready to overcome this and conquer anything that's been holding this back. But you are tired. And you have been through a lot when it comes to the situation. In your environment, we do have the Eight of Swords here. That's where I felt the connection with the Two of Swords. So um, something from your past, someone from your past. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the Eight of Swords here in your environment. But there's something in the environment that's got you feeling trapped. Like it's like holding you back. Let's take that. We got the King of Wands and Justice. Yeah, okay. I want to say this. Can be a Sagittarius, can be a Libra, can be a Leo as well, or Aries with the King of Wands. Sorry, I should have said any fire sign. Um, but Justice is here, can be a Libra too. So it could be any one of these people in your lives. If this resonates, then it's for you definitely. They're making you feel a little trapped. There's something about them that you feel like is holding you back. Then I mean, that's definitely the case. Others of you, I have to say, we're needing to rebalance some scales here in the environment. You're wanting to. You're just feeling trapped. The King of Wands is here as well, though. And what I love about the King of Wands, especially over the Eight of Swords, is that this is having the ability to think outside the box when it comes to solutions. And I really like that for the Eight of Swords. Because you can, whatever the situation is, whatever the circumstance is that's got you feeling like this Eight of Swords character, know that whatever is binding her is paper and there is clearly a gap right behind her. Her, him, it doesn't matter. But meaning the solution is there. And I think with this King of Wands, you're going to have the ability to start thinking outside of the box. Start seeing a way out of whatever is holding you back here. The Eight of Swords, at the very least in a simple sentence, is something is interfering with your progress. It's getting in the way. And now with that King of Wands, you're, you're, you're starting to see new solutions that maybe you hadn't thought of before. You're starting to really think outside of the box. You know, I feel like even with the King of Wands, you're starting to get people to support you as well. Um, but there's still an element here that we're not seeing the clear solution this week. Though I feel like it's coming. And justice is here. It's a real sign that, like, things are going to be balanced out and fair. All right. Coming towards you, we have the Hermit here. Again, can be a Virgo. But let's, I feel like this is soul searching, going within, looking for answers, looking for guidance here. Because there's something here that you're needing it. You're, you, you need some... The intuition's coming through here, but you know, you got the Two of Swords, you got the Eight of Swords, so, and I feel like your mind's been overwhelmed. And now coming towards you is, is finally like relieving your mind of some of those thoughts. Decompressing. Because the Hermit, that's what the Hermit's ruled by Virgo. It's, you know, it's analytical. It goes in to like figure out, all right, what's all these things in my head? We got to get a hold of them. We got to get a grip on them because they're weighing too heavy. I need to figure these things out. So the Hermit is coming through to provide that for you, to provide the guidance for you. All right. You know, never forget after the Hermit goes within and does soul searching and is able to start connecting the dots of our life, that's when the Wheel of Fortune appears, just like that. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Hermit for coming towards you, Capricorn. What's this Hermit about? Yeah, it's just a big choice here. You've got a big choice to make. It's important. It's an important choice. And I feel like this week, you know, you're surrendering. You're like, all right, let me flow a little bit. Let me try to gain some wisdom. I mean, you're making strategy, but you're still, there's a level of like flowing now. I'm not trying to force it. All right. Oh, no. A few more shuffles for this hermit. All right, I'm going to take it. The Four of Swords. And the Five of Wands. At the bottom, we do have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so this week, you're still navigating solutions. You're still figuring out the clear path forward for yourself. 
Let's say you're still figuring it out. You're still working through your thoughts. Uh, but you get rest and recovery coming through you because you're, 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 you're going to get a period of like rest and recovery and you're going to start being able to analyze all the, the inner conflict here. Because the five of wands for me here, I don't think you're fighting with anybody. I think this is within yourself. That's why I say I feel like the mind's been heavy and you're taking a moment to decompress just like that four of swords. There was something painful here. There was something that weighed really heavy here. But like now you're in a place of recovery for sure, but you're still, you're still navigating solutions. You're still figuring out the way forward this week. And it will come to you, the solution. The enlightenment will come to you and I'm pretty sure the Wheel of Fortune will come after that as well. All right, Capricorn, I will leave it there for you. As always, if anything resonates, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for letting me tune into your energies. I'll see you all next week.